Hello, can you hear me? Yes. Hi, class. Yes, teacher. Oh, good. Thank you. Hello? Hi, teacher. Hello. Hello, how are you? Good. Hi. Very good. All right. Who has problem? Um, I see that um, some people are writing that they have problems. Some people are having problems logging in. I know. Can you hear me now? Yes, yes, yeah, teacher. Okay, good. Yes, teacher. All right. Nice. So let's wait, maybe, because some people are having problems. Hello. Hi. Okay. Um, how are you? Nice. All right. Maria Stella, Roxana, Iris Mulato, everyone's <laughs> in. Good. <coughs> Look. <laughs> Who is he? He's Beethoven. Ah, Beethoven. <coughs> <coughs> mm. I like Beethoven. The music is good. Do you know? Han escuchado Serenata de Luna, como es Moonlight Sonata, Lu Serenata Luz de Luna. Oh. Oh. It's possible, but I don't know. Okay. Name. Don't remember. Okay. Pero ustedes sabían de que él era sordo, ¿verdad? Al final terminó sordo su última composición. Pero una vez él iba pasando, después de un concierto, por donde están las siembras de maíz, y oyó una de una casa que estaban tocando una canción de él. Y la estaban tocando malísima. Y él era un poco egocéntrico. Y 
And he said, wait a minute, que feo. Mm. Y fue a ver quién estaba tocando esa canción y estaba bien oscuro. Y era una, una niña que estaba tocando la canción y él le entró y le dijo, te voy a ayudar a tocarla porque la estás tocando mal. Y de, de, de entrada lo que le dijo a la niña fue, ¿cómo puedes tocar en lo oscuro si no estás leyendo la, la letra? Y ahí fue cuando se dio cuenta que la niña era ciega. Y eso le impactó tanto a él que la niña estaba jugando, eh, tocando de memoria. Y eso fue lo que a él también le inspiró a seguir tocando siendo sordo. Y él le dijo, ajá, y esa noche le dijo que la luna estaba bien bella y ojalá la pudiera ver, ella pudiera verla. Y le dijo que no, pero describímela. Y se la describió en música. Beautiful. Escúchenla, se llama Moonlight Sonata. Que es de, de sonata de luna. It's a beautiful song. Okay, so everybody's in. Welcome. Let's start the class. Do you see my screen? Yes. 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 Yes, All right. Yes. <clears throat> All right, now let's see the reading comprehension. <clears throat> greetings from Bangkok, or hi, Paula. Greetings from Bangkok. What is greetings, class? Saludos. Good. Mm -hmm. Greetings, you can say hello and goodbye. Como when you when you go into a room, you say hello, <coughs> greetings, greetings, everybody, greetings. Or bye bye. Okay, Salud, bye. Goodbye. Bye everybody. Greetings. Yes. Ustedes vieron la película Conde de Montecristo. No. No. Oh. <laughs> Esta clase no ha oído música ni ha, ni ha visto. <laughs> no, but, but look at, watch that movie, Conde de Montecristo. It's very good. Es que hay una parte que lo hace cuando hace la entrada y todos, y él solo dice, greetings. He said la vuelta. It's, it's, it's a very, it's a good movie, man. The book, the book is good. So remember, when you go to a party, you say greetings. Okay, so it says, hi, Paula. Greetings from Bangkok. Fernando and I are having a really good time. It's a great city for shopping. Yesterday, we went to a huge weekend market. What is a weekend market? Mm -hmm. similar, mercado, de mercado de fin de semana? Yes, it's similar here. Yeah. Like, for example, Hacienda Los Miranda has that, mm -hmm, like a weekend market. Antiguo Cuscatlán, I don't know if the pandemic now, but I remember mm -hmm. they have a weekend market. Okay, so I'm going to continue. It was full of really interesting things to buy, especially clothes, and the prices are great. Things are not nearly as expensive as they are at home. Of course, Fernando tells me I'm spending too much money, but you know him, he never buys anything. That's me and my wife. <laughs> or clothes I never buy anything my wife buys shoes always I buy more technology things mm -hmm. have you ever eaten Thai food it's delicious we just had a wonderful dinner in one of the restaurants on the river 
Fernando ordered green curry and rice, and I had my favorite dish, <coughs> meat crop. Crispy noodles with shrimp and chicken. Do you know what is noodles? Mm -hmm. Macaroni. Yes. For example, um, maruchan. Oh, yeah. You put water in the noodles. Noodle. That's a noodle. Mm -hmm. Yes. <coughs> so spaghetti, uh, like coditos, are noodles. Coditos. Coditos. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. No, pero noodles también es la sopa maruchan, es de noodle, por eso se llama noodle soup. Mm -hmm. Yes. Crispy noodles with shrimp and chicken. For dessert, <laughs> we had fried bananas. Everything was so good. It was also fun to watch the boats pass by. One thing I've noticed is that some restaurants make their curries less spicy for foreigners. Yesterday, I told our waiter, this curry isn't hot enough for us. He smiled and said, some foreigners don't like spicy food. Then he brought us another curry that was much hotter. Time stop. I hope tomorrow. Oh, I'm sorry, time to stop. We're flying home tomorrow. I'll see you soon, yeah. Rosa. Okay, what is hot? Hot is not only this, hot is a chili. Picante. Yes. Like trompa de chucho. <laughs> That's toxic, man. That's not hot. That is toxic. Not hot. <laughs> toxic. Yeah, that, yeah, I, I, eso no debería ser legal. <laughs> That's very hot. Yes, Mexican people like hot food. Yes. In El Salvador, uh, some people, some people like hot food, but not in general. But for example, Mexicans, they put hot in everything on their coffee, candies. Yeah. All right. So <laughs> number one, it says Bangkok is a good place for shopping. True or false? True. 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 You True. Can buy, okay, great. You can buy most things except clothes in the market. False. 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 The prices in the market are very reasonable. True. 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 Mikrov is a Thai name. I'm sorry, is the Thai name for green curry? False. 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 All foreign <laughs> visitors love Thailand, hot and spicy food. False. False. Have you ever eaten Thai food? No, I no. haven't. No. I don't eat. There is, there is a famous, it's uh, called Bocadillos Taiwaneses. It's in Paseo General Escalón. Do you remember the ex Kismet? Yes. Okay, okay, the ex Kismet in front, you cross the street in front of ex Kismet, there's a restaurant, Bocadillos Taiwaneses. Okay. It's very good. Okay. But they venden por porción. So no venden un plato de, no, like porción de arroz, porción de arroz. Okay, but it's good. Probar. Yes, mm -hmm. uh huh. Y no es caro. It's very good. I recommend you. All right, let's yeah. submit. It's similar to Chinese food, actually. Yeah, no. I think we finished. Yes. Oh my God, we finished. Yes, it's the last one. We finished two days early. <laughs> All right, so you know what we're going to do? We're going to practice. Okay. All right. So we're going to have little conversations today. So 
Hold on. Do you see my screen? Yes. What do you see? What do you see? The test. Yes. Oh, okay. We are ready, me. Okay, it's not that that I want you to see then. <clears throat> you see my blank, right? You see the blank page now? Yes. Yes, yes. Teacher. All right, so we're going to have. Yes, teacher. Two. Oops. Do you? <coughs> okay. No, so remember, let's do this. The WH question. No, let's start simple. Do you with a yes or no? Like. Sure. Okay, for example, <clears throat> do you like <clears throat> hot food? Yes, I don't. No, I don't. Okay, no, you don't. Okay. Evelyn, do you like, do you like beer? No, I don't. Really, you don't like beer? No. no I'm just maybe one, two. No, I don't, I don't like anything. Okay. Do you like coffee? Yes, I do. Okay, good. So then my question for you is, do you like coffee? And she said, yes, I do. So my next question, have you ever cried? Okay, so look, what is tasted? Probar. 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 Yes and no. Really tasted? El gusto? Saborear. Mm -hmm. uh, Have you ever mm. tasted? Tasted. O, have you ever tried? ¿Qué es tried? Probar. Two, yeah, the two are correct. Mm -hmm. Igual en español. Bueno, pero en español casi no decimos ya saboreado. El... <laughs> Sino que probar. Yeah. So, um, pero taste es bien común porque no, I don't like the taste. Have you ever tasted carao? <laughs> Yes, 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 I have. Yes. I have. No. Yeah. I have, but I, I don't like the taste. It's a, it's a peculiar. <laughs> unique. It's unique. Unique. Flavor. It smells weird. Yeah. You know what I really, really, really like? It's very good, but it's nasty. <laughs> um. But when I was little, my mother said it was chicken. And now when I'm big, I discovered it's not chicken. It's rellenos de ubre. Oh. oh man, those are so good. But when I discovered that it was not chicken, but I don't know. Okay, so you can say too, right? So once again, Evelyn, do you like coffee? Yes, I 
yes, I do. Have you ever tasted, Paul? Have you ever tried the coffee from Mr. Donut? Yes, I have. I have tried the coffee from Mr. Donut. And do you like it? Yeah. Yeah. I prefer the coffee from Mr. Donut than the coffee in Starbucks. I don't like yeah. Starbucks. Yeah, I don't. I really. like I like humble this. Yeah. No, yeah, I, I am a big coffee fan. I am a coffee aficionado and I don't like Starbucks. Coffee cup, uh, tampoco. but I don't know why the coffee in Mr. Donut is good. And Pollo Campero coffee, too. Coffee McDonald's? No, in Mr. Donut. Do you do you try the coffee have you, from, have from you McDonald's? Ever, no, but not do you try. Have you ever tried? Have you ever tried the coffee from Mr. Tom, uh, McDonald's? Yes, I have, but um, I don't Do like you it. like? No, because um, there's no flavor, only boom, but no, no, no flavor. Yeah, I don't know. I am, I am picky with coffee. <laughs> All right, but that's good. Um, yes, when, when I go to a pupuseria, and I said, do you have coffee? Yes. Instant coffee or normal coffee? No, the sobrecito. Oh, no, thank you. Um, chocolate, please. <laughs> All right. Carmen Elena, hi. Hello, Carmen. Hello, teacher. How are you, Carmen? Fine. What about you? I am fine too. I am. I am drinking my coffee. Okay. No, no. I am drinking tea. I am drinking coffee with Irish cream. Okay. Irish cream is delicious. Yes, it's so nice. All right. Um, my question for you, Carmen. Do you, do you like tequila? Yes, I do, teacher. Okay, good. Have you ever, okay, what do you do with tequila? Do you eat or drink? Drink with a little bit of limon. Okay, good. So we can do this. <clears throat> Have you ever drunk or have you, what is drunk? Bebido, right? What is tried? Probado. Probado. Intentar. Probado. Intentar, right? Oh, yes. Probado. Okay, Carmen. Carmen, have you ever tried tequila with grape? No, I don't have, I never have tried, tried tequila with grape. Or a strawberry. Or a strawberry, no, only with lemon. Okay, I really recommend you. I, my wife, she doesn't drink liquor, only golden, only one or two beers. And one time I gave her a tequila and I said, she said, no, 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 it's too strong. Okay, but so when, when you drink the tequila, immediately eat a grape and the effect is like, hey, it's like it disappears. Because normally when you drink tequila, you drink tequila, you, and then you drink the lemon. The salt, yes. Yes. It, but now, really, it's, it's like chilate and nuegados. You know that, the, the, yes, you know, it's very, very sweet in dulce. And then you drink chilate and it washes the dulce, the sweet. That's the effect of, of strawberry with tequila. I recommend you. Okay, thank you. I will try. In, in my ex class, I had a student, he was the number one bartender of El Salvador. He was the number one bartender of El Salvador. 
And he told me, teacher, you like tequila? Yes, drink tequila with um, strawberry. No, no, you're crazy. It's tequilas with lemon. No, just do it. It's great. Remember me. You you like it. Okay, thank you. All right. Genaro. Hi, teacher. Hello, Genaro. Genaro, you like rock music? Yes? Yes, yes I do. Do you like... Do you like uh, air supply? Yes, I have. Now listen to my question. Do you like air supply? Yes, I like. Yes, I do. Okay, yes, I like air supply or yes, I do. Okay. Yes, Pero no, I yes, like. I have. Okay. And in your opinion, Genaro, who is better, air supply or Chicago? That's difficult. Um, I like <laughs> Chicago. You like Chicago more? Yes. Yes, I like Chicago more. All right, good. Hello, Melissa. Hello, teacher. How are you? So, so, and you? <laughs> oh, no, not. You, you need to tell us. Are you sick? Fantastic. No. Um, I guess. Mm -hmm. I guess um, I will be sick. I will get sick. I will get, get sick. I, yesterday, I, 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 yo quería preguntarle acerca de eso. Tengo algunas preguntas sobre el get, porque no sé cómo se, cómo se traduce o cuándo incluirlo, cuándo no. Porque hay veces que yo pienso que lo digo bien, pero lo busco. Alguien me dice, no, va el get, pero no sé por qué. Yeah, it's complicated. <laughs> Pero yo se lo puedo explicar de la forma más fácil que existe. Ok. I ok. Get... Pero vamos a ver algo primero. Class, okay. ¿alguien sabe qué es get? Es como obtener o no. Ok. <coughs> Conseguir. ¿Qué más? <coughs> ok, look. Get. Obtener. Three things. <coughs> tres cosas. Porque me queda bien abajo el tres. <coughs> oh. Una. Coger. Coger, like take. Yes. Okay. All right. Okay. Oh, agarrar. <laughs> For example, ring, ring, get the phone, get the phone. Okay. Hey, hey. So, I got it. So, get, 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 get the cup. Y puedo usar get y take o solo get? No, the two. The two are correct. Okay. Ring, ring. Hey, can you please get the phone or can you please take the phone? <coughs> Number two. <coughs> Conseguir. I get a new job. Yeah, ya son cosas que se consiguen. Get a job. Mm. Get a boyfriend. <laughs> get a girlfriend. <laughs> I think. <laughs> you were thinking that, yeah. <laughs> um. Number three. 
I think my brother is gay. Your brother? Yes. He Why? is because he's 50. And he never has a girl. A girlfriend. Uh, so in the I am more surprised if he is not gay than if he is. Estaría más sorprendido que no lo fuera because so I said hey I said Rafa, you need to get how old is he? 50 algo. I don't know, oh. 50, 50 something. But I always tell them, hey, you need to get a person. <laughs> but mm -hmm. but I say, oh man, my brother, he needs to get a, a girl or or a man. But he's he está bien amargado, man. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so what, what else do you get? ¿Qué otras cosas se consiguen? Descuento. Get a discount. Discount. Um, if sometimes if you if you pay with a credit card, you get a discount. Correct? Okay, esas son las formas más fáciles ahorita de get. Get son tres cosas. Una es coger o agarrar o tomar. Cuando está temblando, oh my God, hey, get the baby, get the baby. Y yo estoy así con la tele. No, the baby, the baby. I have the TV. Sí, mi esposa se enojó la última vez que hace como dos años que tembló bien fuerte. Eso fue lo primero que hice, fue agarrar la tele. En vez de sacar al baby. Oops. Okay, so look. Get a number three. Get and an adjective. Yeah. What is an adjective? Class, do you remember what is an adjective? Big, small. Okay, good. So when you use get, when you use get and an adjective, is when you change. Cambio de estado. Le voy a dar un ejemplo. ¿Por qué la gente dice, I am going to get married? Que no va a cambiar el estado. Yes, from single to married. Correct? And married is an adjective. Um, what is the risk? What is the risk if you don't use a mask? You get sick. You get sick. You're going to get the COVID. Okay. Yeah, the risk is you maybe get sick, you get COVID. I I used to have a meeting. Get sick. Sick is an adjective. Pero get COVID, COVID no es adjective, es un nombre, entonces sería conseguir COVID. Pero en inglés siempre soy igual. I get, I get sick. What happens? What happens to a girl if maybe if she has sex with no, with no protection? What is the she big probability? Pregnant? Yes. She can get pregnant. Mm -hmm. Yes. 
So do you understand get an adjective? Yes, teacher. Yes. Busy is an adjective? Yes. Y se puede usar así. Yeah, get busy. Los jefes dicen eso cada rato. Hey, man, come on, get busy. <laughs> como, and obviamente no está busy. And the boss wants to see you Ay, busy. Hay algo. Ajá. Uh -huh. Ponete a hacer. Mm -hmm. yeah. Entonces, no es correcto utilizar be. Por ejemplo. Como hay varios adjetivos, ¿verdad? Entonces. Uh -huh. Pero eh, no sé si son para adjetivos más de estado de ánimo o ocupaciones que para, digamos, describir cosas. No, pero no entiendo con, con, con B. ¿Me puede dar una oración como, como la idea que usted tiene? Mm. Ah, quiero ver. I will be beautiful when I, ah, no sé cómo decir, no sea grande. <laughs> When I am big. When I. When I am big. When I am big. Seré bella cuando sea grande. That's good. But I know I get. Y es, pero es, es adjetivo. Entonces, ahí tengo como una duda, no sé. Pero ¿cuál es su duda? Get o be? No, exacto, entre los dos. O sea, no puedo utilizar los dos. Hay momentos en que tengo que utilizar uno. Hay un momento en el que puedo utilizar los dos. Entonces, pues eso me confunde un poquito. ¿Cómo decir I will be get? No, juntos no. Es que mire, si usted dice I will be beautiful, yo seré bella. Ahí no está usando get, ahí está usando un tiempo futuro. I will be beautiful. Uh -huh. I will be a doctor. I will be, está usando el verbo be. De ser. Uh -huh. Es como decir, I will eat, I will go, I will, I will run. Pero cuando yo le dije, I, I will be sick, usted me dijo que era get. Ok. Es que usted me dijo se enfermará. Sí. Ok, I understand. I uh -huh. Es que realmente... Un, yeah, ahí says, I will get sick. Me voy a enfermar. No okay, pero, no, okay, the two are correct. Okay. The, no, the two are correct. Pero mm, dije, mm -hmm. decir en inglés, I will be sick. Ya está confirmando que se enfermará. Okay. Es como decir, Entonces, I will die. Es como una probabilidad. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Ah, ok. Mm -hmm. de, ajá, porque va a cambiar... ¿Por qué? ¿Por qué es get? Porque va a cambiar de estado. Porque ahorita no está enferma. Entonces, uh -huh. I will get sick. Ok. Pero si usted dice, I will be sick, es porque entró a un cuarto de gente llena de COVID. <risa> no. mm -hmm. Sin mascarilla y usted no. los tocó a todos y fue en la cara. Entonces, <risa> yeah, I will be sick. Definitely. Sin duda. <coughs> Pero lo okay. que usted estaba diciendo, creo que me voy a enfermar. Entonces está hablando como de un cambio de estado. Okay, I will okay, get okay. sick. Ajá. El, let me see, let me see, let me see. Alba. Yes. What's up, Alba? How are you? Fine, and you? I am all right. Thank you. Alba, you have a boyfriend, right? Or, no, you're married. Yes, I'm married. Hmm. What do you, do you get angry when your husband looks at other women? A little bit jealous. I get a little bit jealous. <laughs> <laughs> you get a little jealous? Yes. <laughs> okay. Yeah. All right. Okay, good. Well, it depends, okay. you know, because it depends if it's like, and, and, and yeah, and in that way, yeah, that's not respectful. Yes, okay, uh, yeah, then don't get jealous, get angry. 
<laughs> Thank you, Tim. <laughs> <laughs> One time I went to the beach with my family. And at six in the morning, we were in the beach, you know, like to swim. And mis tíos están señores. And we were sitting, and then this couple, pareja, maybe, maybe they were Brazilian, maybe. But the woman was extremely beautiful. And, and the man, the man was very handsome. They, it was a perfect, perfect couple. So the man, he went to surf. And the woman decided to do yoga in front of us. My God. <laughs> Primera vez en mi vida, sí. Te lo juro en esa boca que literalmente veo una mujer en un hilo dental en la playa, en bikini. Like, wow. Yes, incómodo, uncomfortable, like. <laughs> Solo recuerdo que le dije a mi esposa, mira, te debería de afligir si no la estuviera viendo mejor. <laughs> Because it, it was impossible, it was impossible not to, no, no, no he visto nada. Yeah. So me, educated, I stood up and I just walked. You know, my onda. But oh my. That was right. Yeah, because, oh, but she was beautiful. Yeah. But you see, it's, it's respectful. Evening. Yes. Oh, no, no, I'm sorry, Daniel. <laughs> Hello, Daniel. Hi. Daniel, do you drink beer? Do you? Do you drink beer? Um, only one. Or, only one. Oh, two. <laughs> yeah. Y después, next? Sometimes, <laughs> sometimes in a special occasion, six. No. Okay, oh, no. okay. No, I understand. Daniel, imagine, okay, with how many beers do you get drunk? Um, no, no, I have. No, 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 but imagine, porque solo tomado. Uh -huh. How many do you think? Maybe five? Everybody is imagining, preacher. <laughs> yeah, everybody imagines. <laughs> okay. Si me imaginado borracho. No, con cuantas se pone borracho. Because can, uh, remember, el cambio de estado de sobrio a borracho. So imagine like a Christmas party. Y okay, and me voy en Uber, blah, blah, blah. So with how many beers do you think? Ten. Ten. Nineteen. Ten. Oh, ten. Ten. Okay, good. Oh, okay. So I get drunk with ten beers. I can get. No, no. I get drunk. I get drunk, drunk with 10 beers. When they beer with 10 beers. Yes. Francisco, when do you get angry? I get angry when uh, chocar, when I crash. When I crash my car, when I crash my car. Yes, or algo frecuente? Mm. No, no. Yeah, porque yo le pregunté, eh, Francisco, ¿cuándo se enoja? Oh, yo me enojo cuando choco. <laughs> eso, eh, ahora, eso da a entender que es like frequent. <laughs> okay. Um, For example, me, I get angry when I am in traffic. Uh, me too. Uh, or or I get angry when people cut me. Cut me. Que no usan vías. So when do you get angry? 
in another case, uh, I get angry when Mm, uh, otro ejemplo. Okay, when do you get happy? I help me imagine I, okay. event, but I need I need you to tell me an adjective. Okay. Um, I get what? happy when I have fun. Uh, I go. Uh, I'm going early at, at my work. Okay, good, good. Okay, good. Melissa, I think she said, I, I get happy when I have money. Mm -hmm. I get depressed when I have money. Why? Because I say, I yeah, so. look at all this money. And then I, I have to pay here, 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 here. So the next day I am like, I get sad. Oh. <laughs> I'm joking. Sorry for you. Yeah, that's the depression. It's not my case. <laughs> it's not your case. Why? Uh, I don't have deuda. Um, Debts. Bills? Debts. Oh, that's okay. good. Oh, man, I'm very happy Still. for you. Still. Still. Yet. No, yet. <laughs> yet. Yet. Okay. Well, yet. Yet. What's the difference? Still. Todavía um, aún. Y still is ya. Yeah. Eh, it's still is yeah. No, yet is aún no. Aún no, yet. Okay. Y still is aún. Ah, okay. Aún sigue dormida. She's still sleeping. Sí, sleeping, okay. Yes. Yeah, I understand. All right, good. All okay. right, uh, and uh, let me see Carmen. Yes, teacher. Carmen, do you get you get hyper when you drink coffee? No, I don't because I don't drink a lot of coffee. Only one, one a cup of coffee in the morning. A, li a big cup of coffee. Oh, okay. Okay. Class, do you get sleepy in church? Sometimes. Sometimes. <laughs> Boring. Yeah. <laughs> okay, after so. After the war. After what? After the war. After the work. Work. No, no, no. I, no, I say, do you get sleepy in church? The church. In the iglesia. Do you get sleepy? Eh, lo que intentaba decir es que cuando voy después del trabajo. <laughs> oh, when I go after Because I was church. tired. Okay. Ah, when I go after church. Okay, good. Okay. Es que miren, ese es el problema de que lo que le dije aquella vez, el salvadoreño no gusta hablar mucho con palabras. Uh -huh. Por ejemplo, usted me, me habló con dos palabras, me quiso decir una oración. Que uh -huh. me dijo, after work. Y no, and it's good. It's good, pero... No, no capté muy bien lo que me quería decir porque yo pensé mm -hmm. que quizás no me entendieron church y work mm -hmm. pero, pero it's okay pero ahí so, simplemente yo lo que les digo les recomiendo contestar siempre todo en forma completa como I get sleepy when I go to church after work ah ok after work por eso I never go to church <laughs> <laughs> All right, so do you understand get? Yes. Teacher. Okay. Yes, teacher. Yes. ¿Por qué soso, Melissa? Es que no es algo que lo voy a agarrar así, ya. Sino que con la práctica, pienso yo. Sí, pero es que la cosa es que solo hay tres formas posibles de hacer get. Es tomar okay, algo, me... cons conseguir algo o usar un adjetivo. Y, y yo creo que lo que es difícil porque en español hay un verbo para cada uno pero en inglés se usa get para tres cosas entonces por eso es que yo entiendo que hay gente que dice es que mira, get es como get the chair es tomar la silla y get sick es enfermarse 
y, y, y get COVID es te dio COVID. Uh -huh. Entonces, uh -huh. eso sí confunde a alguien. What? La traducción entonces, es lo que me confunde. Ah, entonces, ¿qué es get? Entonces, hagámoslo del otro lado. Entonces, get es tomar algo. O en vez de decir get, podemos decir take. Ok. Conseguir algo. I need to get money. Por ejemplo, mujeres, cuando ustedes quieren hacer algo, necesitan conseguir permiso del esposo, ¿no? Entonces. <risa> ah, come on, come on, quiero ir la. Ah, you okay. dream. <risa> no, I'm joking, I'm joking, mentiras. No, no, but remember when you were little y querían hacer algo, you need to get permission from your mother or father. Yeah. Boys and girls. Uh -huh. You need to get permission. Y, pero el más común es get con un adjective, que es un cambio de estado. Okay. Por eso lo que les decía con Genaro, Genaro no toma una o dos. Pero si se tomara diez, he'll get drunk. Cambiaría de sobrio a ebrio. Entonces, drunk is an adjective. So, I get drunk. Ah, no, era, era Daniel, sorry. <clears throat> I get drunk with 10 beers. One Smirnoff. Oh, one Smirnoff. Por ejemplo, Francisco no se enoja, pero hay algo que sí lo puede enojar y es cuando choca. Y eso me aflige que haya dicho eso porque... <risa> <risa> porque wow. O sea, lo... ah, yo me enojo cuando choco. Como, wow. <risa> lo hace ver como que sí es a frequent action. <risa> no, por ejemplo, I get... Oh, you know what? I get angry when people touch me. You know when people do this? Oh. Or I get angry when people do this. You know when you're eating? Empieza. A sacarse las cosas de los dientes en frente de uno. I don't like that. I get angry. Yes. I get happy when I see my son. And I get angry when I see my son. Because he's terrible. <clears throat> okay, so let's continue with do you and have you. Alba. Yes, teacher. <laughs> Do you like mondongo soup? No, I don't like it. You you don't like it really? No. Oh man. It's good. I tried it once, but I didn't like it. Oh, you didn't? No. Do you like the tortilla? Uh, you are from San Miguel, right? So, um, I, actually, I San was Martin. born. No, actually, I was born in San Alejo, La Unión. But then, uh, when I was seven years old, I went to live to San Martin. So, uh, it's um, I didn't. I was born in San Miguel, but okay. I have lived here for around um, ten years, I think. So officially, you are a Miguelanian. Mm, yeah. <laughs> Do you like so Aguila? Why? Do you like Aguila? Uh, not really, but I have gone to the stadium. Well, oh, okay. I went twice with some friends in 2015. I think. Oh, okay. Yes. Listen, have you ever eaten tortillas in San Salvador? Yes. Tortillas from San Miguel are better. <laughs> yes, it's true. I prefer the tortillas in San Miguel because they're very thin. Yes. And, yes. And yes. Uh, to, to San Salvador? No, man. It's, class, have you ever eaten tortillas in, from San Miguel? Oh, Just, I have them. They're very, very good. Very slim? Yeah, they're very thin. They got yes. Up. They're very thin. Mi cuñada de San Miguel siempre que va le pido, por favor, tráigame 
para congelar, porque son más fáciles yeah. de tostar también. Yes. All right, good. All right, so do you have you? Okay, now, Francisco, please ask somebody a question with do you have you? But listen, listen, the two questions have to have connection. Okay. So this is not correct. Francisco, do you like movies? Yes, I do. Have you ever eaten churros? It's no much. <laughs> what does churros and movie have in common? No. So do you like movies? Yes, I do. Have you ever have you ever seen the have you ever seen the exorcist? You know, so remember the, there has to okay. be a connection with okay, so your turn. Ask somebody, please. Okay. Uh, Genaro. Genaro. Hi, Francisco. Um, do you like rock music? Yes, I do. Have you ever uh, had you ever uh, <laughs> heard? Hear, hear, ah, okay. Had you ever heard ACDC band? Um, no, I know it like. What? Is music uh, very stronger? But ACDC is rock and roll. Yes. Yes, it's rock and roll. Yeah, it's, it's yeah, it's. All right, good. I love ACDC. It's All right. Okay. So that was a very good question. Do you like rock music? Yes. Have you ever heard ACDC? Good. Thank you. Y gracias por no decir maná. All right, Genaro, your turn. Please ask a lady. Do you and have you? Carmen. Hello. Uh, do you like food? Excuse me? Food. Good, sí. Good, cocinar. Do you, oh, okay. Ah. Uh, 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 one thing, tiempo, tiempo. Muy buena pregunta, pero eh, se me había olvidado decirles eso. Cook es un verbo. Yes? Sí. Entonces, do you like, like es un verbo. Mm. Nunca en inglés pueden haber dos verbos seguidos. Entonces, no se puede decir, do you like cook. Entonces tiene que ir un intermedio. Do you like, like to, to cook? cook? To cook. Okay. Thank you, teacher. No, you're welcome. You, Thank you. Look. Uh, do you like to cook? There's ACDC, look. Yeah. <laughs> Sometimes yes. I am a little boy. <laughs> All right. So you like to cook? Yes, I, yes, I do. Okay. However, uh, have you ever had, how you ever chicken, um, uh, meat? Have you ever cooked? Have you ever cooked chicken, um, meal? Okay. Uh, chicken and meat together? No. Chicken and meat. And beer. Pollo, pollo o carne. Ah, entonces, es que usted está diciendo and. ¿Qué le quiere oh, preguntar? Okay. Porque eh... le está preguntando, ¿alguna vez ha cocinado pollo y carne? Y hay, creo mm. que hay un plato que... Bueno, dos. Mm. Eh... Yes, eh, eso es lo que trato de preguntar. Have you ever cooked? ¿Alguna vez ha cocinado? Eh, chicken. Pollo. Which, con chicken carne. Which, yes. Ok, very good. Ok, I see. With meat. With. Oh, ok, very good. Repeat. So, have you ever cooked? Have you ever cooked? Chicken. Chicken. Which meat. Ok. 
Yes, I have cooked chicken and meat when I... Chicken with yeah. meat. With meat, okay. When I grill. Oh, yeah, in a barbecue. Yes, in a barbecue. Okay, good. Okay, thank you. In a paella too, no? A paella has chicken and in, a pa in the paella too, with shrimp okay. and other... Chorizo, yes. pork, oh. Oh, my mother. Okay, your turn. Very good, Carmen. Melissa, good night. Good evening. Good evening, Carmen. What, um, happened, you... what, what happened to Maria Stella? Man? <laughs> she disappeared. <laughs> Okay, Melissa, do you like pizza? Yes, I do. Have you ever tasted the shrimp pizza? Yes, I have. I have tried tried the pizza, shrimp shrimp pizza. Where? It's delicious. In Olavetos, it's so it's good. Mm. The shrimp pizza in Olavetos is very good. It's uh, Victoria's pizza. It's artesanal. I don't know how do you say. Uh, rustic. Rust, rustic? Rustic. Uh -huh, rustic. Rustic. Uh, a rustic pizza. Where, where is Victoria's pizza? pizza? Where is it? It's in Santa Ana. Oh, okay. It's in Santa Ana. Oh, okay. It's very delicious. It's near to... Metro Centro. Oh, okay. Near, okay. near to Metro Centro. Okay. Okay. Good. Good to know. Uh, your turn, Melissa. Okay. Um, Daniel Palacios. Hi, Melissa. Hi, Daniel. Do you like Michael Jackson music? And yes. Yes, I like. I like music Michael Jackson and dancing. Okay. Oh. Uh, have you ever <laughs> danced thriller? <laughs> yes, uh, I yes, I, I have that's that's in thriller. Wow. <laughs> Can you imagine? <laughs> Can you imagine that? Very funny. <laughs> All right, very good. All right, very good. Thank you very much. Good questions with, with connections. ¿Se acuerdan que le estamos diciendo ayer de que el, el do you, del do you nacen todas? Uh -huh. Imagine viene un concierto de, eh, do you like Coldplay? Yes, I like Coldplay. Oh, are you going to go to Costa Rica? I wish I could. Yeah. I don't uh -huh. like Coldplay. I like. I hate Coldplay. I love it. <laughs> No, I, I, used I don't know nothing to, about it. I used to love Coldplay. They were good. The first two albums. But oh. when, they, when they became pop. Oh. <laughs> no, but okay. Pero así, o sea, después del do you, no hacen mil preguntas. O ya sean en pasado. Yeah, incluso hasta en pasado. Do you like Aerosmith? Yes, I like. Okay. Did you go to the concert? Oh. Well, we have. I don't understand I... your question. No, I. Mm -hmm. How is it? Remember, remember, um, Aerosmith vino uh, like six years ago. Yes. Mm -hmm. And does it? Hey, do you like I Aerosmith? Oh, yes, I like Aerosmith. Did you go to the concert? Yes, I went to the concert. Yes, I don't. Yo, see, man, it was a good concert. <laughs> I went to aquí en Salvador. I went to see Aerosmith, Def Leppard, Santana, Men at Work. Casi every rock concert I went. Iron Maiden. Maiden. Okay. Yeah. I went to every concert. It was good. También fue ver Arjona. I love Arjona. Sí, pero es que le andaba cayendo a mi esposa entonces. Oh. <laughs> That's why. <laughs> yeah, you know. Vamos, mi amor. Oh, see, I love Arjona.
No, pero, Hace cinco eh, años creo que fue. No, fue más. No, no, cinco, no, no seis pero, años. Oh, no, pero fue la última antes de Before that. Um, oye, okay. oye, canta, fuiste tú. Mm, yeah. <risa> no, porque la, la, la otra vez que vino me dijo si quería ir. ¿verdad? No, pero si quieres te voy a dejar. <risa> sí. Ya estaba. ¿De cuándo? <risa> yes. You know, Vamos a ir. No, está lo que me voy a ver. Pero si quieres te llevo. Te doy la ira. <risa> yeah. Estaba a punto, a punto de ir a ver el, el reencuentro de Timbiriche. Oh. Oh. Yes. You see what men, what we men have to suffer? No, I'm joking. So, okay, so we'll continue tomorrow, okay? Tenemos dos días más para practicar eso, porque ya terminamos lo que teníamos que hacer. Yes. Entonces, esto fue un muy buen ejemplo ahorita. Do you, have you ever? Do you, have you ever? Y, y se puede hacer, por ejemplo, en cosas así como inventos suyos. Por ejemplo, do you like chicharra de Diana chicharra? Yes, I like the chicharra from Diana. Have you ever put that chicharra in a maruchan? No. Oh, man, it's good. Yeah? My young daughter, when she don't have the ingredients to make a pupusa de chicharrón, they put chicharra. Really? Yes. I have never eaten that. <laughs> that's interesting. Mm -hmm. that, that's very interesting. Um, do you, yeah, I, I much like, have, do you like avocado? Yes. Have you ever put avocado in a maruchan soup? Es que creo que el saboreño nos hemos hecho bien creativos con las maruchanes. <laughs> Cuando estamos bien pobres, ¿qué vamos a comer hoy? Ya estoy harto de maruchan, entonces estamos un poco más creativos. Y hey, si le echo de esto, y si le echo de aquí. <laughs> no. You know, you know. Have you ever, mm -hmm. have you ever tried watermelon with baby pepper and lemon and salt? Watermelon with lemon? Yes, yes. And pepper, chili? Uh, chili? No, I have never. Yo lo he visto una vez, pero no he tenido valor. Have you ever? Mango. Have you ever tasted mango with onions and lemon? Onion? Yes. Yes, yes, yes. I have. And it's yes. very good. With onion? Like vinegar onion. Like in vinegar? No, uh -huh. onion in, 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 in shop. Oh, no. Yeah. It's delicious. Hey, that's interesting. Maybe someday because I love onions. Have you ever eaten breakfast in Super Selectos? No, I haven't. Oh my yes, God, it's so good. In Super Selectos, yeah. Las Cascadas? It's, no, really, it's too far for me. No, but it's, it's really good. Because like, yes, for example, too, and, and cheap y barato. Es que creo que es toda la comida que ya se venció. <laughs> What they cook. No, 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 like, for, no, no, because, no, for example, like, there's a plate that two eggs, beans, plantain, and the coffee, one, one forty, uno cuarenta, something like that. Y ponen bastantes. So for me and my family, it's a tradition, like, when we go to the supermarket on Sunday in the morning, We eat breakfast in Super Selectos. Yeah, yeah, some of that compra this one. It's, but one day I recommend you. This is very good. That's good. Have you ever eaten breakfast in McDonald's? That's my favorite breakfast. The egg yes, McMuffin. Oh, yes, I have. 
have you ever put the french fries inside the hamburger yes i have yes i have I like a lot. Yes, I have. <laughs> yeah, me too. Everybody has. I like. <laughs> yes. Okay, class. Thank you very much. I'll see you tomorrow. Okay. Have a good okay, night. Bye-bye. Thank, Thank you. Good night. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.